I'd like to shout out the whole Tyler community, LES community, uh, Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn, everybody in New York. New York. Your coach. Coach A. Guess who's coming? Timberland, aka Bill Drummond. You gonna get a crunk like me, Timberland? Don't be bashful, girl. Back it up. How are you today? Excited about the game? Yes, yes. This is a great event. NYC's leaders lead showcase for middle school and high school. Uh, we got all our programs together from LES to Harlem. And, you know, we all connecting and collaborating, getting these kids together on the streets. Tell me, how does one, how, how can we get a kid involved in the program? What are the requirements? Well, we got different coaches here today. Yeah. You know, we all have social media. Okay. It's easy to find us. You know, a lot of these kids play for us. They tag us in the social medias and the kids start reaching out. So yeah, another way is see me on Instagram, coach underscore Sean Commodore. We got um, LES United here. Uh, 3P BBL, LS Express, we got Team Mega, um, City Outworks, and I think that's it so far. Um, so you are, are you on Facebook as well? Yes, I'm on Facebook. I got my real name, Sean Commodore. Okay, okay. So, I mean, what do you think? I mean, there are a lot of kids that are here today. Do you think that just kids that are just visiting the viewers, you think by just looking at what's going on, you get people to sort of join you in the future? Because this is interesting. There's, it's not only the game, but they're all, you're also working them out. Yeah. And it's a form of exercise, and you're not only teaching them about the game, I'm sure you're teaching them other skills that are required to play the game and the game of life. Yes. Yeah, I think a lot of people would be yeah. interested in uh, you know, seeing their friends partake in this, these yeah. events. And you know, they feel probably left out, but in other way, they see the kids going hard, they know that they're gonna go hard, so next time they'll probably be picked for the showcase. There's a lot of kids that got left out, but you know, we're trying to shorten it to make it, you know, quick and fast. Tell us again the name of the group. What's the name of the group? NYC Leaders Lead Showcase. Okay. Thank you, Sean. Do you want to give a shout out to anybody before? Uh, I'd like to shout out the whole East Harlem community, LES community, uh, Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn, everybody in New York, you know. Thank you. Stay united. Thank you. Okay. That was Sean, that was Coach Sean Commodore for LES United. Stick around. We're gonna see what, what goes on with the game and we'll be back after this commercial break with interviews. Thank you. Good evening, peace and blessings family. This is Brother Earl here once again at Red Lobster hosting Freedom of Speech Open Mic. Okay, the night is phonetic, phenomenal, and fantastic. The poets, the artists, the energy is just off the chain. We hear each and Every Monday, not every Monday, every Monday. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. I mean, this is like, uh, this is just like, this is where you're supposed to be on Monday. I, I don't know where else you're supposed to be on Monday. The artist that, that performed is unbelievable, okay? I'm here and, and grateful for the assistance of Diamond Video, Believe in Yourself Video. I mean, uh, Wordstock, my boys, Barry and Reg. This is a conglomerate, a consortium of artists, activists, and just lovers of communal economics, man. And we here. And the only thing that's missing is you. Hope to see you next week. Right here at Red Lobster, right next to the Apollo. I'm Brother Earl. Hey Javon, aka Bubbles, happy holidays for DJ Mario TV. Mwah.
<laughs> how are you? Your coach? Coach Amar. Coach Amar. How yes. are you, Coach Amar? And your coach? I'm Coach Sam Jacques. Yeah. Um, are, you, are you guys excited about the program? Oh, very excited. This Tell is us a, a little bit about the program. Um, well, LES, uh, ex uh, LES United is a program that was developed with a whole bunch of coaches from the Low East side okay. getting together. They realized that we was all you know, mentoring and catering to the same kids. So we all decided to come together and actually put one one whole group together and cater them all, you know, to give them all fair chance and give them a chance to, you know, live out the dreams that they wanted. What are the ages for the program? Well, the ages um, varies. Um, we start as early as seven. We have a seven-year-old and um, to, um in the organization and then we go all the way up to college all our, a lot of our guys went to college this year and this is their first year playing so it was a great experience so and so let me ask you the summer program started and ended i mean how, how does it is there like a time frame or you guys just go right around i mean straight through the winter months summer through winter or this is just there's a pause in between how do you guys do that well LES united has started last year okay. um right before the summer okay. Uh, we started off with a summer program playing in different tournaments okay. and amazingly these guys came together and really put it together at the end and won a few tournaments. Um, so this is the first year that it actually went through, but we haven't stopped. We're going to keep going and our plan is to actually go throughout the whole school year and so forth. Awesome. And basically keeping our kids busy, keeping our kids off the street, keeping our community excited about kids coming together. Um, all of us have grassroots backgrounds. We all went to programs, strong programs that had a major impact in our life. We want to shout out for our kids. We want the, our kids and our community to know that we care about them and we're going to give them that exposure that they need and want. So that's how we reunited. We all have our own individual programs, but we decided that there's strength in numbers and we can still focus on our individual programs, but our community comes first before our individual goals. Understood. If someone wanted to reach you, where can they reach you? You can reach us on our email, which is lesunited at gmail.com, or our Instagram page, which is les underscore united. And you're Coach Matt. I'm Coach Sam. Sam. Yes. Right. And Coach Amo. Right. So what is your, your you guys on, on uh, uh, social media? Yes. What is, what yes. Is, how can they reach you? Can they reach you the same way? Um. Well, we all have the shared um, Instagram page, okay. so okay. we all look on the page every day. Uh, we put up stuff. Okay. Um, once we put it up, uh, you know, kids just get into contact with us personally because some of them are on Instagram and social media. I'm not, unfortunately. Okay. But, you know, um, I was, I'd be told everything and, you know, I get so in touch are, with what kids. Are, what, are possible. Your, what are your hopes? What do you expect for 20, 2018? What are your plans for 2018? Well, for 2018, yeah. our personal goal is to actually get as many kids acclimated into the program okay. and give them opportunity outside of New York City. Um, we are trying to actually go on tours to different boarding schools, okay. giving kids different opportunities, different looks, and hopefully, you know, we could get these kids into better schools right. um, in and in, in out of the city. Awesome. So you you're teaching them not only about basketball, you're teaching them about about manhood this LES United is more than just sports no matter how hoops. you it's, it's actually more than hoops that's right. the name of the adult side of it okay. we call ourselves more than hoops making opportunities realistic for everyone that's the acronym for more okay. so we're focused on all aspects of life all aspects of life not just basketball we want to change our community and it starts with sports that's the incentive of the sport right. and then we add on education life skills and, and unity so how do you attract young young men is it strictly for, for young boys or is it for young women as well Right now, we yeah. started with boys because we're a brand new program that started in the spring. Um, when the program grows, and if there's an opportunity to do something for women, we want to do something for everybody. Is there a procedure? Do you guys have a form? Is there a, a, a how, how can someone be a part of the program? We have tryouts, and we, we, usually tryouts. we usually promote anything we do on social media on our okay. IG page, LES United underscore. And your tryouts are like, I mean, they're just random, or is there like a specific time for tryouts? We just finished our trial. We had tryouts three weeks ago for our 13 and under and our 14 okay. under. Okay. which are currently playing in the Safe League on the LES Express. Okay, so give us the ages again when when a young man can join the program. Um, again, we, we, we go around to different, uh, okay. different like, 
uh, programs and promote ourselves and we help kids from seven on up. Okay. You know, I'm affiliated with Boys Club also, so okay. we cater to kids from six to 20. Um, LES United, we used to, in the summer we went around to different um, parks and we tried to help as many kids that wanted training and we trained whoever came up. So it don't matter about the age really, right. you know, That's as long great. as that we can help them. That's great. You're teaching them skills of life, which is really, yes. really awesome. I like that it's not only about who, it's about much more. Yes. Is there anything additional you'd like to add to attract people to join your program? Uh, we support everybody. I don't want yeah. people getting confused and just LES. Yeah. We 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 are all from the LES, but we support right. anybody that wants the opportunity to be better in life. Okay. You know, and right. we shout out any programs, especially programs in LES. But I love this program that we at right now in Johnson Community Center. Shauna's doing a great job. So it's a, it's a great mixture of what we have. You know, and we just supporting each other. Well, you guys want to give a shout out to anyone before you go. You want to give a shout out to the members of your program, to the young kids <laughs> who are joining. I mean, just I don't know. Shout out to anyone that's helping kids anyone in my life. Shout out that's to everybody that's supporting the community and helping kids. I love that. You know, my motto is I can do better, you can do better, we can do we better. Can do better. That's help, my motto. help me help you. Yes. There you go. Right? Yes, 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 yes. Thanks to both of you. <laughs> Thank you. if your dad was Reggie Jackson, the, the ball player. I was just going to ask you for your autograph. Nah, my father's name is Reggie Jackson, so I'm Junior. Okay, so tell us about, about you and your kids. What is, what is the name of your individual group? The individual name of my program is called Wolf House. Okay. Stands for Working on Living Forever, However Only Using Success in Education. Okay. Uh, just a group of kids. I started out as just wanting to keep kids off the street because okay. in my community it's a, lot of, it's a lot of gangs and death going on with the young age. And I found something that can bring us together in the community, something everybody likes, basketball. So decided to keep them off the street, pay out of my pocket to get these kids off the street, take them out of New York City, and just have fun, to build a relationship with people that they have problems with. And we became a team from now on. And where is where are you based? Where is your group? Which, uh, which part of uh, are you I, in the city? Or I'm in Lower East Side as well. Lower East Side yes. as well. Mm -hmm. Under L I'm under the umbrella of LES United. Right. And mm -hmm. so I know that you're all grouping and formed under this umbrella. Right. But as an individual, for the kids, their, their ages. What are the ages? For I go from part of your group. 10 to 19. Okay. I do ages. And you 10. also mentor them all the way through. High school and Correct. then on to college. Correct, because we're more of a family, so I don't just do basketball. Basketball is just something that we can just, we have something in common. Right. But as far as I call schools, I speak to parents, I speak to principals just to make sure they're on time. Sometimes when I'm off, I'm not working. I'm actually making sure kids going to school, calling them in the morning, making sure they're up. And I, sometimes I'll take them to school just to Did get them. Did you hear that, parents? This is Coach Reggie Jackson, and he's doing, he's acting. He's, he's really assuming the role of a parent, doing what a parent should be doing as well, because it takes a village to, to you know right, to right. take care of a child it's Correct. not one nah. individual you gotta work together and coach coach uh reggie jackson are yeah. you married no somebody just asked me that i'm on my way not yet you're on your way not yet so you're you're engaged or what, what's the story i'm working on that i'm working you're on working it on working it? on that working on it okay because people are asking well maybe maybe coach reggie jackson can coach me too <laughs> he's taking people sorry Sorry about that. You want to give a shout out to anybody? Uh, Tell us how we can find you. You can find me on Wolf House Basketball on Instagram, uh, Wolf House Basketball on Facebook. My personal IG, which I post basketball stuff as well, is Coach Fifth Ave, 5 th uh, And you can just follow me. I'm everywhere. If Even if I'm not coaching, I'm always supporting one of my kids' high school games or anything they're part of. I'm there. Well, this is wonderful. Thank you for talking to me. No problem. Great Thank program. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That was Coach Reggie Jackson. Not Reggie Jackson's son, the ball, ba ball, uh, ball player. Different Reggie Jackson. Stay tuned. I'll be back after this commercial. What's hey, up? We, we are Diva Nation. Nation. We like to shout out DJ Mario. Yes. And we out here in the park jamming out. With yes, as y'all can see, else. everybody is here. There's so much talent out here. Y'all wouldn't be surprised. Small. So we're going to sing for y'all real quick a little sample. And we hope y'all like it. I've been staring out the window, got no tears left for you. Shaky hands, I feel unstable, need something to hold on to. You say you love me, I guess that you lied. 
Cause the way you let me down Made it clear you never tried I fell for you But I should have known Hey, DJ Mario You do it, I don't got it Okay, ready, one's my number What? What do they Two one two seven one four seven one eight eight DJ Mario. Hey. <laughs> Back from commercial break, I am going to speak to Coach Jamel, who is standing right here, and he's going to tell me a little bit about his program. Coach Jamel, how are you? Nice to meet you, Claudette St. Rose. I'm doing good. How you good? doing? I am doing great. So tell us a little bit about your program and, and, and the kids that you support and just give us a little bit of insight about what you do. Okay, um, I have yeah. a program, yeah. name is Heart for the Game. Right. It's um, a summertime program. I run a clinic in the morning on Saturdays. I start at the ages five all the way up to the age 11. That's with the clinic. Then I also run a free tournament that I pay for out of my own pocket. <laughs> Um, and that's just for the neighborhood. A lot of kids, they don't have money, but they still want to play. So I just put that together, have them come out. That runs about five weeks. And I also have a high school tournament that I do. But my main focus usually is the clinic in the summertime because that's where everything starts with the, with the younger kids. And so you told me that your program is co-ed. You're probably one of the only ones that have a co-ed program. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like I, so tell it's, us about that. Like, you young ladies that are out there, it's a co-ed program. So tell us so you can attract the young ladies. Like too. I made my program co-ed yeah. yeah. because it used to be all boys. And yeah. I had a lot of parents hit me up like, do I have anything for girls? And exclusively but I did not have anything for girls so yeah. I just made it co-ed because at that age they can still play together especially it's a, a fundamental program so they're all just learning so why not teach both you know what I'm saying genders boys girls and they all get the same out of it I like that because girls play basketball my daughter is a basketball mm -hmm. player so yeah why not girls yeah right? definitely yeah. why not I, actually I have a lot of yeah. I used to coach football also you did and yeah. I opened that up to co-ed so it was tackle football and I had girls on that team too. You played football as well. Yeah. So you know, <laughs> it's it's all about giving girls a chance, also, because mm -hmm. they're also they have skills. Definitely. As well. We don't exclude anybody. Yeah. So tell us, how can people find you? Are you on social media? Yes, you can. Yeah. Um, you can find me on on um on Instagram at HFTG Youth Sports, or you can find me on Facebook at Heart for the Game Youth Sports, also. Um, yeah, that's pretty much how you contact me. So tell me about the ages for the kids in your program. What are the ages? Um, yeah, we start at the age of five okay. in the clinic. Um, four will take you if you can reach the basket or if you just pay attention and have a, a decent attention span. Okay. We take you at the age of five and with the clinic we go up to age 11. Okay. And then, um, like the program, we all the way up to the age of 16, we, fulf um, we fulfill the needs for the kids. Okay, so you also help them on to, with high school, getting into high schools and all that. Do you do any of that? or? Um, yeah, I'm also affiliated with a program called okay. LES United, and okay. it's about seven different programs under that umbrella, and okay. we all um, help out as far as getting these kids into high schools. Okay, so what is the phone number? Because I know people are watching, parents are watching, and they're interested in that co-ed program. So give Definitely. us a number. 646-234-9526. That's my direct number. And where is it located? Give us location as well. So on the um, lower east side of Manhattan. Okay. In the summertime, I'm outside 10th uh, Street Avenue D. Okay. So your program go into the winter as well? The co-ed program? Um, or no? Yes. It does. But not my program like okay. in the winter time i put a team together okay and that's also co-ed so we um enter into different tournaments just to keep everything going okay and then in the summertime is when i start the outdoor clinics okay well this was coach jamel jamel he has a co-ed program and i know parents are happy to hear that because like myself I have a daughter who plays basketball, who plays football, who bowls, who does a whole bunch of different things. I just came back from D.C. She's in school in D.C. She goes to Georgetown. Oh, that's awesome. All right. So, you know, she does a whole lot of stuff. And, you know, it doesn't make her less girly girly. But she just <laughs> likes, to, likes to play sports. So, you know, reach out to Coach Jamel. And he can give you as much, of informa as, much information as possible to allow you and your daughter to take a look at his program and perhaps become a part of it. Definitely. How we accept that? everybody. All right. Everybody is accepted. Thank you, Coach <laughs> Jamel. You want to give Thank a shout-out to anybody? I mean, shout-out to the home team, LES United. Okay. Thank you, Coach. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. By the way, 
On Mondays, we're at Red Lobster. This is not all that I do, but I, I like to be a part of anything that involves kids. That's kind of near and dear to my heart. But if you have a program like this, if you really like what you just, just what you have just seen, reach out to me. I'm happy to come out and help you and support you as well. Again, you can reach out to me on Facebook, Claudette St. Rose, or you can also send me a private message under Claudette St. Rose, or you can call me, 212-714-7188. I'm happy to come out to you. My daughter is all the way in D.C., my daughter Maya. She goes to school in D.C., and I just came from D.C., so I am willing and, and really would make an extra effort to come out to you. All you have to do is just give me some time. Uh, it's all about the planning, and I'm happy to come out to wherever you are to support your program. So if you like what you've just seen and you like what I'm doing here, again, reach out to me. Claudette St. Rose, happy to come out to you and help you build your brand. I almost forget. Forget about emailing me. If you really want to meet me, I am at Red Lobster on 125th Street on Mondays. Brother Earl is the host. Come out and meet me. They have great biscuits and they have salmon, but I, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you a secret. Come closer. My salmon is better than Red Lobster, but you have to come out and meet me. Come out and chat. Come out and meet me. One and one. You'll meet Claudette. It's, it's kind of, it makes a difference when you see someone in person as opposed to someone on the screen. Very humble, very witty, dry sense of humor, but good overall. So come out and talk to me. Mondays at Red Lobster, 125th, or you can call me at 212-714-7188. Thank you. Peace.